Now let's set the record straight. There's no argument over the choice between peace and war. But there's only one guaranteed way you can have peace, and you can have it in the next second. Surrender. Admittedly, there's a risk in any course we follow other than this, but every lesson of history tells us that the greater risk lies in appeasement. If we continue to accommodate, continue to back and retreat, eventually we have to face the final demand, the ultimatum. What then? You and I have the dignity and the right to make our own decisions and determine our own destiny. We have the courage to say to our enemies, there is a price we will not pay. There is a point beyond which they must not advance. All right, what's happening, folks? Welcome back. My name's John Lovell. I'm a former Army Ranger, founder of the Warrior Poet Society, current tactical firearms instructor guy. But what's most important, I'm the future dad joke champion of the world because I'm ambitious like that. What I want to do is present to you a gun that's a year in the making. It's the War Poet Pistol, and it's kind of a big deal. Before I jump in and tell you why this thing is the bee's knees, I want to immediately do the worst sales job on the planet and say... You don't need it. <laughs> a stock Glock 19 is really going to be just fantastic for most people's purposes. After you get something like a, a, a Glock 19, you probably want to do a few key upgrades. And so what the idea here is, is when I get a stock 19, which really get that, get a bunch of ammo, invest in some training, get good with it. Guys, it is the Indian and not the arrow. So don't feel like you can go out and buy some jazzed up Gucci Glock, you can't purchase experience, you can't purchase ability. But there are some key upgrades that absolutely will move some hills and make you a better shooter. And so those are the things that I actually care about. There's a few upgrades that we put on this custom War Poet pistol that are really big deals to me. And there's other pieces that there's stuff that I want. It's all like the sexied out slide work. It's stuff I like, but I would never spend that. And the big idea here is if you got a stock gun, you put in the key upgrades, it would still cost you more than this gun would cost, and you get all the cool guy stuff too. And so what I'm trying to do is balance a bunch of financial responsibility, fiscal responsibility, and have my cake and eat it too. And so when uh, Sportsman's Guide and Shadow Systems, we were all starting this process about a year ago, the idea was, hey, John, if you wanted just what would you want in a pistol? I'm like, well, I don't want to have to pay a lot because I think stock stuff is pretty darn good. I'd want some key upgrades. And then if you threw in all this stuff and it was free, if it was a good value, then I could offer it to people and it wouldn't violate that sacred trust that you and I have that I hold in far higher regard than a silly piece of gear. So that being said, I wanted to walk through some of the features of this gun, which was 100% just what I liked and what I wanted. So if you ended up in the first place, just going out and buying a stock Glock 19 MOS, that means it's optic ready. This configuration comes one of two ways. You can get this blaster uh, exactly like this with my favorite red dot sight already mounted on it, the 507C, or you can get this same gun where it's optic ready and it doesn't have a red dot. If you get it without the red dot, it's going to weigh in around $9.99 on Sportsman's Guide website when you use the code WARPOET. So you can check it out there. $9.99, not bad considering everything that you're getting, right? So those are the configurations. All right, so very good. If you just went out and bought a 19 MOS, it's gonna run you about 600 bones. And you're fine right there, but after a while, you definitely wanna upgrade the iron sights, which would cost you about 100 bucks. You'll want to get to know a, a normal stock trigger, but after you get good with it, you probably wanna upgrade that as well, and a trigger can cost you somewhere between 100 to 150 bucks. So anyway, there's another upgrade, and you, so you can kind of see the tally that if you did this on your own, you're gonna end up spending the money and more so on your own. Uh, so there's the 19 MOS, there's the trigger, there's the irons. Another piece that I really think is a big deal is to have a cool magwell on there. This right here, some beveled out so that when you hit your reload, it's smoothly going in and you can do that reload. That's a big deal. And also to be able to close in this hole so there's no hang up spots, absolutely you want a magwell. If you did it on the cheap, somewhere around 25 bucks if you, or all the way up to 125. And so magwells are something that I really do care about. I think you should get it. Another thing is the grip work. Some of that stuff can be really 
helpful. Doesn't move mountains, but it does move hills. And so there's the removal of the finger grooves. There is the stippling all the way around. And this right here, when you feel it, you can't feel it, but I can. It's the perfect amount of tacky. So it's absolutely uh, not sliding as much on your hand. It does well with water as well. It does well with gloves. And it's not so tacky that it, it, it's like chemically bonded so that when you do your weapon manipulations, it's not kind of like stuck when you need it to turn. So I really like the stipple job and it's also undercut. Undercut is usually a deal breaker for me. I, I like it in some ways in that it doesn't gnarl up my calluses when I grip the gun real fast and consistently. So it, it's a little bit smoother and more forgiving on that. Not a big deal, I know, just some of y'all are be like, oh, sweetheart, John, did you hurt your fish? Hey, shut up, man, I'm a soft civilian these days. Uh, so I've got this uh, undercut job, which is a little bit more forgiving when you do those fast, hard purchases on the gun, but it also allows you to get your hand up a little bit higher, which should help with bore axis problems. So there's that. That's good. I've also got these knobs on the trigger guard, which can help you kind of pull off stuff, pull on stuff. Uh, as you're providing fulcrum points so that you can cam into the gun and stabilize it more during recoil. So that's good. But my problem with undercutting a trigger is it will change the grip angle on your gun because this is going up higher. Now the front sight dips down just a little bit. And I notice when I do presentations with a gun that has an undercut job, my front sight is slightly lower on presentation and I hate that. This has an additional feature I'll get to in a moment. It's a palm swell, much like the MMP design. And when I put a bigger one on, it perfectly lifts it up. So for the first time, I can have an undercut trigger without having to change my grip angle. Beautiful, I can't do that on any other gun. So this is offering some added value. I'll talk to that in a moment. But just those key upgrades that I mentioned, you're already around 1,050, 11 something hundred dollars. Whereas if you got this for 9.99 from Sportsman's Guide with code WARPOET, you're already saving money, but then you get a bunch of other stuff on it too. Stuff that I like, but I would never pay for. So for instance, barrel companies have reached out and be like, hey, John, what do you think of this free barrel to offer your folks? And I'm like, I don't think upgraded barrels are generally a good idea for folks. You spend $200 on a barrel upgrade that's supposed to be more accurate, but here's the thing, I'm a pretty good shooter, but when I miss with a pistol, it's not the barrel's fault, it's my fault. I did something dorky, right? And so I want a, if I have an upgraded barrel, maybe that would help me at a 100 meter shot, 200 meter shot. It can help, but generally I can't outshoot my own pistol. I could on some long guns, but not on a pistol. That's, that's, that's difficult. So, but I do like the barrel because it's threaded. Then you can put a can or a comp on it. That's pretty cool. And yeah, I do get a little bit more accuracy and it says War Poet on it. That's cool, guys. We like to represent. And so I like that and you can kind of get it for free because we're spooling up and doing a production of them. So if I could have it for free, I'll take it. The other thing is like the stipple job. And if you were doing the barrel, that's 200 bucks and you're doing slide work, that'd be another 250 bucks to get the front caulking serration so you can do your cool guy press checks and it just looks cool. You're also shaving in holes like these window cuts on either side here, and also the cuts into the slide right here, which will offset the weight of adding an optic and keep your gun running a little bit more consistently. This thing has run very, very well. It's not as pretty clean as it was because I put some wear in and just testing it. There's a little bit of a break-in period, I'm told. I had one stoppage in my first 100 rounds and then I've been off to the races ever since. So uh, there's supposed to be a little bit of a break-in up here about 200 rounds or so, but there you go. The Glock 43 has that too. Uh, anyway, the other piece is the palm swells right here. It's that MMP design. If you wanted to do that to your Glock rather than this custom build, I don't know of anyone that can do that. That's internal mechanisms that you're monkeying with. So I don't think you could even do it, but I just kind of arbitrarily assigned it a $400 value to say, hey, if you wanted to replicate this gun, it'd cost you about $1,850. The stuff I care about, it'd cost you about $1,100. Either way, you're getting a really rad, awesome gun for $999 or the upgrade to the optic. 
that's a really good deal. I stand by that. That's a good deal. So uh, anyway, guys, if you're interested in picking one of these up, I encourage you to shop Sportsman's Guide's website. Use code WARPOET. And uh, yeah, train hard, train smart, and enjoy, guys. I'll be repping mine too. Anyway, see you guys.